Hey everybody, this is Micah at Solar States, and I'm here with my guy, Jacob Gross, our newest NABSEP PV installation professional. Congratulations on getting the certification, my guy. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was a real, uh, you know, exciting feeling, finally achieving that certification. Uh, I studied for about a year to get that. Whoa. Um, I started out, you know, just, uh, I was going to go for another cert um, called the uh, design sort of technician or design professional exam. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think you encouraged me to go for the full PVIP, which PVIP. was a great idea. I wrote, great idea because I never thought I could really do it. But once I started studying and really getting into it, um, saw it was something that would just take a lot of practice, but I could achieve. So, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we, you know, really support standards here at Solar States and the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners is a heck of a mouthful, NABSEP, but it, they are the credentialing organization for renewable energy. It's important, you know, when you can demonstrate the knowledge that you have, it shows by having a third party validate it. And, you know, you've now passed the test. You're in the quote club here. Yes, um, yes. And like you said, you studied for a while. That, that's a hard test. How long was the test? Uh, it took me about two and a half hours to complete. Um, yeah. Maybe a little closer to three. They give you four hours to finish the test though. So, you know, I was still comfortable. So you're one of those guys, huh? I always took all four hours. I needed like every moment. I think there's nothing wrong with that to, you know, go back, double check your work. But I guess, you know, after a year of studying, I just felt super confident. So. Yeah, yeah. What were some of the hardest questions on there for yeah, you? Yeah, good question. I would say the hardest questions are some of the real, like, um, technical, they say O&M, operations and maintenance questions. So mm -hmm. how to go into an older uh, piece of solar equipment and figure out how to fix it up or what's going wrong with it. And some of this equipment so old, it's technology we don't even use today. So, mm -hmm. you know, in my day-to-day -day job, I'm using, like, brand new inverters, all the latest technology, but this was, like, you know, how do you look at an inverter from 1995 and mm -hmm. figure out, you know, why it's having a ground fall or what does this mean? Is is there like a short circuit going on somewhere mm -hmm. in the system? So those were tough. And a lot of the math was pretty hard too. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to know how the math works, but then also how, how you, you have to know the math so well. How can you work some of it backwards, right, right. Um, work some of it forwards, you know? So you're doing all these funny things with numbers and, um, but... Again, I think you put enough time into anything, enough practice. I did a ton of practice tests ahead of time, and, mm -hmm. and that just uh, made it all the, all the more easier. What would be your biggest recommendation for somebody who's looking to get their PV installation professional certificate? Yeah, great question. Well, I'd say uh, start off talking with other people who have taken it before. Um, they might even be able to point you in the right direction, um, like I'm doing now, and, and give you good resources to look at. So... Um, as someone who's taken it and studied, I'd say I took Sean White's heat spring course. Oh, cool. Um, Shout out my guy, Sean. Yeah, White. Sean White. Thank you so much. You helped me pass this test. Uh, and it was great. You know, he gives a lot of good tips and uh, practice material also. Uh, read his books also. I think it's uh, PV um, mm -hmm. and engineering. Oh, yeah. Or, Shout out to Bill Brooks, uh, too. And, yeah, PV engineering Brooks. and installation. And Bill Brooks, PV and the NEC. Mm -hmm. Another really good one. Um, you know, I read through those. Uh, I took them everywhere with me. I mean, I went to Florida and I took those books <laughs> with me. I went to Puerto Rico and I took those books with me. So I, they were like my vacation reading material also. And on the grind. Yeah, I was for the past year and um, took a lot of practice tests from those books too. Great. And they just helped me a lot. So, well, once again, congratulations on being a NAPSEP PV installation professional. That's Thank a heck so of a much. credential to have on your resume. And we're really proud to have you as part of the team. See you guys later.